today we're going to look at ratios and rates. This page here is on ratios. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. So we've got Dallas CV, who won the Iditarod again this year. There were 70 mushers who started the race and 25 were female. There were five, four men and one woman who withdrew before the race ended. We can write, write the ratio of female to total mushers three ways. So the first way is, whoops, 25 with the fraction bar and 70. Then we have 25 with the words 2, T-O, 70. And then we have 25 colon 70. I have a typo there where it says 20, so just cross that off and make that 25. So three different ways that we can write a ratio. We can, we're going to look at some other Iditarod data about the mushers later. I want you to write the ratio of female to male mushers right here. So female to male, we had, this is sticking, we had 25. Okay. To 45. And we always want to simplify that. So we're going to get 5 to 9. You could also write it as 5 to 9 that way. Let's do the ratio of female to overall mushers. The key here is, is you want to look at the word two, and that is like the word T-O that you would see up here, or your colon, or your fraction bar. And make sure you're keeping the order. So females, there's 25. That came first, so it's going to be written first. And overall, we had 70. And again, simplifying, you end up with a 5 to 14 ratio. It doesn't matter if you do it in fraction form, if you write it with the word TO, or if you use the colon. The last one is the ratio of male to overall mushers. So there's your colon. The male ones we had, hmm, I don't have the male ones here. Well, we had 70 overall. If we have 25 females, then you just go ahead and subtract, and you'll get 45. And again, simplifying that. So rates. Rates also are ratios. They're also fractions, but the quantities are different. For example, we have, there are 100 students for 110 chairs. Here we have the word four. You'll see four, you'll see two. That's letting you know where that separation is. So the ratio of students to chairs, students is first, so it is 100 to to 110. And then you can go ahead and simplify that as well. Now, this is what we're going to be looking at. Unit rate is really, really important. Unit rate is a ratio, but the denominator is 1. And it's really important to use unit rates when you're comparing items if you want to get the best buy or if you want to break down the ratio into a comparison that's easy to understand. Unit rates are something that we're going to use um, when we're shopping a lot. And we'll work on a lesson where we will actually look at some shelf tags to talk about the best purchases. So here's another Iditarod example. The Iditarod route is 10,050 miles long on even years. Dallas CV finished the Iditarod in 8 days, 13 hours, 4 minutes, 19 seconds. So about 8 and a half days. So we want to find out how many miles did he travel per day. Per, in the case here, is that fraction. So if it took him about eight and a half days, so we're going to put eight and a half on the bottom, and it was 10,050 on the top. We can do some long division. I'll probably let you use a calculator on this. If you do the long division out here, you'll get about 123 and a half miles per day. And that's your unit rate because it's one day that we're looking at. Let's look at the other example. D.D. John Rose kennel expenses for 12 months came to a total of $53,700. How much did this cost per month? So we want to know the month. So we're looking at cost per 
month. So we have 53,700. And what will we be dividing it by? 12 months, because that's the whole year. And that comes out to $4,475 per month. Last question. Each dog on an Iditarod team burns up to about 35,000 calories of food a week. How many calories does a dog burn per day? So it's going to be calories per day. 35,000 divided by how many days in a week? Seven, which is going to give you 5,000 calories per day.